it too. We never have to ensure if it's or back of our as long, but I guess it is correct. So, uh, yeah, we definitely want to make sure it is working correctly. Yeah, yeah. What a mess. 802. Nothing's changed. I've moved down to level 7 because I was getting wet. Anyone get in? I know there's still got two holes in there. Spirit and the FedEx that have been going around and around and around have just announced. We got 30 minutes of fuel left, so they're planning on uh, changing gears and uh, diverting. I think Spirit's going to go uh, for Lauderdale. Like it looks like it's fluctuating between a microburst alert to a wind alert to down there to 20 miles uh, I haven't seen anything lower yet, though. Thank you. Well, they've double-checked the equipment to make sure the micro <laughs> microburst alerts are correct. Well, you got planes anywhere you can stick them now because the line's already too big. Got Southwest sitting on the east side. Oh, I see a couple small tails over there. You got uh, uh, Silver Wings over there as well. What a mess. Now we've got uh, inbounds circling over the Gulf, plus the uh, Spirit and uh, FedEx that are circling right here on Tampa Bay. Well, 24 in line now. Now a lot of the aircraft are saying, hey, what they're seeing in the wind socks is not matching what the tower is saying, and they're wondering what's going on. So there's some question as to whether the equipment's working or not. Um, tower has reassured them that the techs checked the equipment and it was working. So a little bit of a confusion now, or some concern. But yeah, nothing's coming. We've got diversions, we've got uh, aircraft circling in the Gulf, and we've got 24 on the ground waiting in line. No, not there, but we checked with um, St. Pete, and they are not getting any alerts. Uh, they do have an Allegiance short final to uh, St. Pete, only 3-6, and we're trying to get a report as soon as we can from that. Well, we have a, uh, a Southwest that's going to, I guess, make an attempt here. Seven miles out now. Last report, just like a minute ago, was 40 knots lost. Yet uh, McDill, which is uh, two, three miles away, no reports. And uh, PIE, which is just over the bay, about eight miles as a crow flies, no concerns. I think what's happening is the, uh, the captains keep asking about the equipment, but the airport keeps testing it and keeps showing all these problems. Um, but we've double triple checked it, and uh, I'll go ahead and put you in line. You're currently number 25 plus. And yeah. Now they call it 25 plus. It must be 30 plus aircraft. Up ready. Once we start moving. There he is, Southwest 1291. He's way out there, just coming down from McDill, crossing over the Gandy Bridge, head for the Howard Franklin. Tower just said everything shows green, but they're getting alerts. So that's definitely conflicting information. Uh, which airport? Uh, Southwest 0315 Gus 24. You heard it, winds out of the north, gusting to 24. Everything looks smooth. Set and maintain 3000, Trailblazer 450. Clear 
that uh, gate there. Can you tax the outbound? Uh, yeah, we can do that. We'll uh, start at uh, Bush State 49. Thanks. 3 one zero. Still nobody's, uh, no place left to go, as you can hear. Now, this uh, American is getting ready to push it. Number 40 in line. 4-0. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's like anywhere you can put a plane, there is a plane. And now we've got aircraft that are having to come back because they're, uh, they're running out of legal time to be flying. 9.02 a.m. Frontier 9011 from MCO. God, that's from, from Orlando. In the aircraft to be in gate 80. It's coming in. There are over 40 aircraft now waiting to take off. Many are going back to the gate because they need fuel or they're timing out. But many can't move because it's just such a log jam. Pretty much just needs you to uh, to just uh, taxi a little bit southbound, right, right behind your company there. All right, thank you for that. Thanks, I appreciate it. Right turn on a whiskey, and then uh, Victor four. So yeah, it'll be Victor three to the ramp. The American's gonna fire up an engine to get out of your way. She's arriving from TTN, Trenton, New Jersey, which I've still never looked up on a map to see where Trenton is. Yeah. 
1904 from Ord, O-R-D, Chicago Zoe Fair International. Boy, is a big line of aircraft coming in, that's for sure. The line going out is not all that big right now because most everybody ended up going back to get their gates.
Ringo depart. One coming in. Boy, he's no nose diving it down. Come on. Get down down now. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. going to conclude this edition of Spotting Tamp International. Hey, thanks for joining me today. What a wild, wild day with all those microbursts and wind chair alerts. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell. See you all tomorrow on another edition of Spotting Tampa International.